Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dimitri Kibatarevsky. I have a friend at work who doesn't want to have children. Together with his wife, uh, they reached a certain age where they must make a choice. However, they decided to stay child-free. About 50% of all families in Russia choose not to have kids. Our society could grow twice as fast only if all families were complete. I'm lucky to be a father myself. And today I will let you know about my own concerns which I had when starting a family. And after hearing my speech, you will hopefully be able to recognize these concerns when they appear in your family, and you will deal with them effectively so that they do not delay your parenthood. Now, which things may prevent a family from having a key? My friend, for example, did not want to give up his comfort. And I completely agree that kids take up your free time, your privacy, and your mobility. After becoming a father, I gave up many of my hobbies. Second common concern is the lack of financial stability. Today, people want to be sure what's coming tomorrow. And we had this concern as well, starting a family, being both recent graduates, and only one of us had a job. Finally, many families are afraid of the task of parenthood. This especially relates to young families. Uh, at that time, we asked ourselves, are we good enough to make it? Many things changed since then. Now I will tell you the reality of raising a child from my own perspective. Realistically, comfort is a very comparative substance. Okay? After having a child, we realized how much of our free time we wasted on watching TV, on reading magazines, on going to some pointless parties. We were in a vacuum which we needed to fill. Isn't it better to spend this time on teaching somebody how to live and watching her grow? Also, the little time which we now have for ourselves enjoyable as ever. We plan our time with care now. Okay? Money is always a problem in today's world. But our society has this perception. I mean, two little legs, two little arms, one little mouth needs less money than almost any of us. We proved it over the years. And the perception which our society has is that a golden deposit in a bank and a luxury car is just about enough to start a family. When we learned that we will have a kid, we were both recent graduates. I didn't have a real job. I didn't have an apartment. Neither had my wife. And she was an immigrant at that time. Yes, we did not have the financial freedom, but the necessity pushed us to work harder, be more successful in our jobs, and also to plan our finances better. Now let's pretend we agreed to sacrifice our comfort and work hard, but will we be good parents? That thought especially scares young people. Because 
we are less perfect than humans. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, uh, sorry. Actually, you should not worry about it. Simply put, your child will teach you whatever is missing. When we had our child delivered, both of us were two young, selfish brats, which now turned into a family of two rational, I hope, and loving parents. And I emphasize loving because this is what made everything possible. In the end, I will show you the long-term effects of staying child-free. You may think that comfort and money are important to you now, but you won't miss any of that when you grow older. Unfortunately, our nature programmed us to reproduce only when we're young. Once that time goes, you will regret that there is nobody around you to learn from your life and to admire it. Think that way and you will realize how important family is to you and to our society. No kids means decreasing population, economical and cultural regress, and eventually the death of nation. Do you want our country to end up like this? I don't. And that's why I urge you to treat the growth of your families seriously and to avoid the common mistakes which may prevent you from doing so. Thank you.